So Archeria came out with a firmware 1.5 uh, update for the Minifuse 1 and 2. Uh, this functionality was already on the Minifuse 4, so if you have that device, um, you've already got it. And essentially, it unlocks uh, loopback recording. So for those of you that do any streaming, content creation, recording of that sort, it also brings a couple of virtual channels. Um, and what I was curious about is would it unlock some functionality in pairing with the iPad? Um, the only thing that I've seen, and don't quote me um, as this is the reason why, um, but prior to this update, when I hooked these two up, I was not seeing in AUM the MIDI functionality of the Minifuse, and now that is showing here. Again, it might have been something uh, on my end, um, but because it's not part of the documentation, so uh, I'm not saying that that is accurate. However, on the channels, I'm not seeing anything new in terms of this update. These have always been here prior to the update. Um, so I don't use this with a computer. Um, so again, I'm not really sure if that's where you're going to see the value add. Um, I believe this is a good value. Uh, if For those of you who are getting started in this space, if you have an iPad and you've got some gear and you'd like to try and you know integrate the two, uh, I'm not a big fan of using dongles. That's main, the, one of the big reasons why I got this device. Um, you can get these things used for probably about 100 bucks, maybe a little bit more USD. I think they retail new for 149 USD, so it doesn't break the bank. You've got two line inputs, so you can put in either instruments or gear. And then on the back, you've got the uh, five-pin MIDI in and out, and there's also a USB hub. Um, this is a iPad USB Type-C, so that's what's plugged into here, and it's providing power. Um, and this is also a nice combination where... Again, if you've got some gear plugged in and you want to record what you're doing, then you can use the screen record on your iPad to record that audio. And then whatever, you know, if you've got your phone in your pocket, you can just record your little jam, and um, it's a nice little option to have. Um, I don't really use this very much. Uh, again, when I got this and had that issue with MIDI not showing up, I pretty much kind of put this on the shelf. Um, so I'm going to play around with it um, because off-camera I've got a whole setup that um, has, is working for me um, since I got this thing. Um, but it's nice to see that Arteria continues uh, their support for devices by providing uh, some updates. So that was a welcome addition. For those of you familiar with the software application for the Minifuse, you know it's pretty bare bones. Um, with the update, it actually has some cool functionality where you can do some adjustments. So perhaps if you have this and you are using it with your computer and loopback recording is important for you, uh, go check out the update, read the uh, release notes, and see if there's something that can help you. All right, that's all I got. Just wanted to do a quick little uh, video to provide you that information if you were not aware. And uh, this has been Wabbit. Go out and touch something.